Well, good morning or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Um, we're on lesson 13, the project personal web page. And if you've made it this far, you probably have struggled with all sorts of things. You have probably struggled with making sure that you even have a planning page done. You probably struggled with coding paragraphs, lists, header, headers of various types. You've struggled with adding pictures. And But you know you've made it this far. You've been successful. You are going to be just close to done with making your personal web page. Question of the day today is what skills and practices help when we code pages? So we're going to be debugging all that sort of thing. This is what it's all about. You're down to the last piece of your project. So you should have a rubric. That's the most important part of this, the rubric. <clears throat> and a peer review. You need to get an idea from a partner what, how everything should go. Okay, so give any additions, now is the time to do it. So, so far, you've, you'll need your completed project guide, the images you downloaded, and the project rubric. Okay, those are the most important things. Now you've, you've learned how to use HTML structure and content. You've used CSS to style your text, format your code so it's easier to read, how to debug HTML and CSS, how to use images in a responsible way, and how to protect your personal information online. Here are some examples of some web pages, personal web pages that kids have done. Okay. So, first, you need to upload all of, it, all of your image. And if you haven't downloaded images, you, need to do, you needed to do that already. But, uh, so what you're gonna do is add images. You've downloaded them somewhere secure and safe and where you know where they are. You're just gonna click add image and you're gonna upload, click upload and you're gonna tell it which images to upload. So if I had Zoom backgrounds, I wanted to upload this one, I could do that. Okay, it's uploaded successfully and now it appears here, right here, W-O-R-R-T dot JPEG. And you would, un you would upload whatever you're going to, whatever images you're gonna put in there. Make sure each file name uses good naming conventions, okay? Don't have blah, 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 J3, X, Y. Just give it a normal name. You probably, you needed to do that beforehand. You can also rename it by right-clicking, and going rename, and giving it a decent name. All right. Next. Add the HTML to your page, okay? Add HTML to your page you sketched in your project guide, okay? You're going to put in your code between body and body. Double check that the page is everything you want and make any changes you need. Next. Style the page according to your plan, okay? That's where you click on style.css. Notice it's already been linked in here, style.css. And you're gonna add the code for this. Styling is done. If you don't know what to do, go back to lesson six. Lesson six is where all that is. And you need to go back and check there for how to do things. 
Okay, lesson six is where that's done. Styling pictures or adding pictures. Okay. <clears throat> adding pictures is also a prior lesson. I'm pretty sure it's lesson seven. You go back in prior lessons and see what you did. Okay, use that as your resource. Click next. Now you're almost ready to publish it. Make sure all the information you're sharing is something you're comfortable with on your site. Check that all your images are correctly attributed so that you give proper respect to the people who took the pictures. Check that your project includes everything included in the project rubric. So check your rubric. Use comments and white space to make your website readable. Ask a classmate to help you find any potential problems with your site. Okay, if you need to go back and have somebody else look at it, please have them look at it. Better to have someone else than me. Okay, then you have Amira talking about questions to consider. Time to share your project with the world. Okay, you're going to click share and you're going to, you can send it to people. Okay, your parents and that sort of thing. It's not going to be a live website for the whole world to see, just the people you want to share it with. And then finally is a reflection. Please do the reflection and ensure that others can see what you got. Now, I will say that, um, those people who went farther, further rather, to um, do even more on their website, like add further pages and that sort of thing, um, that would be in future lessons. We're stopping at lesson 13, and uh, you can too, um, this semester in, um, as we do virtual learning, so, or distance learning. So that is lesson 13, um, unit two, code.org. So please make sure that you check it over, make it look good and use that rubric. Use your rubric. Do I, should I say it again? Use your rubric. So that's it. Have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.